A week after a surveillance camera recorded two separate cars crashing with Brightline trains, killing three people in those vehicles, a public safety campaign is kicking off in Melbourne. Brightline has warned people before to stay off the tracks. Now Melbourne's mayor says safety improvements are coming to the crossings. News 6's James Barvero joins us with today's efforts to get results. So I'm with Greg Stoll in downtown Melbourne. Greg is with a group that advocates for rail safety and he's helping pass out the safety brochures. How's it going? I have some train safety information for you. Greg also gave me one of these brochures. It reads, in the U.S. a person or vehicle is hit by a train every three hours. The average freight train traveling 55 miles per hour can take a mile or more to stop or the length of 18 football fields. And of course the Brightline train goes even faster about 70 miles per hour through Melbourne. Going through downtown Melbourne at 70 miles an hour, to me, is dangerous. you got old people, you got kids on bicycles. What would you say to some other people in the city who think this is the fault of the drivers who got killed? A lot of it is the fault of the drivers. The mayor has told us one of the new proposals is to put cameras on some intersections. Would you like that if drivers well, got ticketed for going around gates? Yes, I think they got to do whatever they got to do. They're going to have to do something. They can't go on like this. Mayor Paul Alfrey is here now downtown too. We're going to ask him about the efforts today and the next city council meeting. At the crossing, there's a couple ideas that we'll bring, and, and part of those are like, for example, bollards, and, and uh, uh, that'd just be a short term, and then quad gates. And not only for Melbourne, but we're looking at Bard County and even going south. Quad gates are crossing arms that block both sides of the road. As far as bollards go, the mayor says if approved here at the city council meeting Tuesday, they could be in place at the intersections where the two cars crashed into trains last week within the following week or two. In Melbourne, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news six.